one approach to interconnecting various WAN locations is to connect every site to every other site. So I've got this first a site. It's got a link going to every other site. The second site, it also has a link that goes to every other site. Let's see, who does this guy need to connect to? It needs to connect straight across and down. And this needs to connect here. I think this is it. I think at this point, every site has a link to every other site. And this is called a full mesh topology. Let's label these sites. We've got A, B, C, D, and E. If I wanted to communicate from A to B, I have an optimal path to do that. I've got a direct link. If I want to go from A to D or from B to C, I've got a direct link between any two sites. This is the opposite of the hub and spoke topology where everybody had to come back to a central hub location. Here, I've got a direct path between any two sites. This gives me optimal pathing. However, again, opposite from the hub and spoke approach, this is going to be much more expensive. I'm having to pay for a WAN link between every two sites. That's not optimal. And this is not very scalable either. There's some math behind the number of links that you have to have to interconnect a certain number of sites. Here's the formula for your notes. The formula is n times n minus 1 divided by 2. That equals the number of links you have to have. n is the number of sites. In this case, we have five sites, so let's do the math. It's 5 times 5 minus 1, which is 4, divided by 2. 5 times 4 is 20. 20 divided by 2 is 10. According to this formula, we would have to have 10 links. Do we? Well, let's find out. Let's number them. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I'm missing one, 1, 2, here it is, 10. We've got 10 links required to fully mesh all of these sites together. Let me have you try it. You might want to pause the video and let's assume that you have 10 sites. My question for you is this. If you have 10 sites and you want those sites to be fully meshed together, how many links would you have to have? Go ahead and pause the video, do the math, and come back for the answer. Well, did you take the time to do the math? Do you know how many links it would take to fully mesh 10 different sites? Let's do the math together. If we had 10 sites, that's 10 times 10 minus 1 divided by 2. In other words, 10 times 9 is 90 divided by 2 would be 45. 45 links to interconnect to fully mesh 10 sites. Do you see why I was saying that this is not a very scalable solution? We're going to have to have too many links. If you have two or three sites, sure, probably not a big deal. But once you start getting into five, 10 different sites, the full mesh starts to become impractical. Again, on the positive side, we have optimal pathing. On the downside, it can be expensive.